I was at the I was at the toy store the other day, and you know, just trying out the laser tag, to see if I wanted to buy it, checking it out. And do you know, they had the audacity to throw me out of the store for playing with the toys that I hadn't purchased. That's probably true. I can see that. Hey everybody, I'm Lee, I'm Boo. Someone's Pinterest addiction has led her to yet another craft we're going to try. Today's craft is uh, taking beads, putting them in the oven, melting them, and making sun catchers or whatever else they turn out to be. So we've bought a bunch of different style of beads. An assortment. To try out different kinds, mostly from the dollar store. And some we found on clearance today. We've got three styles and we're gonna play with them. Oh, there's four. four. First style of beads we have. These are propeller beads. These are clear, uh, iridescent, triangular-ish. The second style is a hard plastic bead in round shape. Third style are an assortment of Mardi Gras beads. And the last style are, I believe they're called perler beads. And these are actually made so that you put them on a pegboard with, um, in a grid form and use the iron on them. However, we are going to put them in the oven because we don't follow directions well. Let's get this started. Let's get this started. Well, here. Should check out my kaleidoscope. As Jamie Lynn finishes the final touches, we then get them all ready for the oven. On the cookie sheets, cookie cutters already set, beads ready to go. Let's see what we come up with. Something's burning, something's burning. These were the propeller beads. And I think they turned out really cute. The one I did in the bottom of the bowl here, I think maybe they were too close together because they're definitely not level. It's interesting. These guys, this is another one of the perler beads, but it doesn't want to come out very, it may be perpetually attached to the cookie cutter. This was one of the plastic beads. And the dog looks like there's something wrong with his tongue. He also didn't connect very well, so he's kind of flimsy. Turned out okay. This one was the Mardi Gras beads. Mardi Gras beads and they just appear to be crumbling. So I don't recommend that style per se. The last one was a free form propeller bead and it actually turned out quite well. So guys, some of them was a success and some of them wasn't. And I'll tell you the fumes, rough, a little rough. You can definitely smell that whole burnt plastic thing going on, but it was a lot of fun. It actually was. And the ones that we liked, we've got hung up on the door here. Check it out. These are the propeller beads and they are strung together with fishing line. And we've attached them to a suction cup that has a key ring on it. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you try it out yourself. Pinterest. <laughs> Pinterest. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye bye. Bye. What's wrong with my, there's nothing wrong with my light. I'm glowing. So, so in somebody's Pinterest, what's the word I'm looking for?
What do you think, Mr. Pickles?